In this video, we're going to have an overview of the four different pathogens. So we're going to start off with bacteria. Bacteria have a cell membrane, a cell wall, a flagellum. They've also got chromosomal DNA and plasmid DNA. They do not have a nucleus. Pathogenic bacteria, bacteria that cause disease, cause disease by releasing toxins. Toxins will damage your cells. These are examples of cells in any of your tissues. The toxins produced by the bacteria are going to damage your cells and potentially kill them and kill you. So remember, the bacteria produce toxins that damage your cells. Bacteria reproduce incredibly quickly by asexual reproduction. It is similar to mitosis, but we call it binary fission. So bacteria divide and replicate very quickly by asexual reproduction. So the more pathogenic bacteria there are in your body, the more toxins they're going to produce. The more toxins, the more damage it does. The more damage, the higher chance of a very serious illness or potentially even death. We're now going to look at viral infections caused by viruses. This is any cell in your body. So the virus now binds onto and attaches to the cell membrane of one of your cells and it injects its genetic material into your cell. So it's going to inject its genetic material into your cell. And now inside your cell, this genetic material from the virus is going to be used to form other viruses. So as you can see here, the genetic material that was injected by the virus is going to be used to create other viruses inside your cell. Once enough viruses have been reproduced inside of your cell, your cell is going to undergo lysis. It's going to split open and release all the viruses into your body. So the viruses are going to leave the infected cell and it's now in your bloodstream. So now you're going to have millions of viral particles in your blood. And each virus is going to bind onto and attach to another cell in your body, inject its genetic material into that cell and millions more viruses are going to be produced in the cells and those cells are going to um, undergo lysis they're going to split and rupture releasing more viruses into your blood we're now going to be looking at protists the most famous protists is the plasmodium protist that causes malaria when mosquitoes feed on you they're going to transfer the plasmodium protist into your blood this protist is then going to infect normally your liver cells and your red blood cells. The most famous fungal infection is athlete's foot. So if someone has a fungus on their foot, they can transfer it to other surfaces by direct contact. So the fungal infection is going to be transferred onto carpets, socks or towels or anything that comes into contact with the feet. So if someone else's foot then touches that surface, by direct contact, that fungus is then going to be transferred onto the other person's foot. So as you can see here, the person by direct contact is going to have the fungus transferred to their foot and they're then going to have athlete's foot. 